Today I will show you HoloKit, which is an uh, open source mixed reality experience. And uh, yeah, my name is Bo Chao Hu. Um, I'm founder of uh, Ember Garage. Ember Garage is a creative tech and art studio in Silicon Valley in California. And uh, currently just me in the company. Okay, um, let's watch the video. Oh, okay, this one. I'm going to see this, you know, one of these things? You see a hologram over a person. And this guy invented it. No, no, that, in that computer. I'm going to see this, you know, one of these things? You see a hologram over a person. And this guy invented it. So um, what's the motivation behind this project? So the motivation is accessibility. So the fundamental question is, what mixed reality can a consumer get in 2017? So $3,000 HoloLens, and, or Magic Leap, or you can do it to yourself. So, like, uh, so why not we just do it yourself? And, um, Here's how we do it. Yeah, and then we can experience in the character, a hologram character dancing in Grand Central. This is like directly shot from the um, camera. There's no visual effect. Here's how we shot it. So this is behind the scene. There's no magic. And uh, this, is, this is the screen, and it will attach the holokit in front of a camera. So that's how we shot that shot. So this is no visual effect, again. So um, there's two components in uh, HoloKit. One component is called a uh, hat kit, which is a very low cost uh, cardboard design, and uh, um, like just like this. And also we have uh, some black magic. It's it's a um, uh, track kit. It's a monocular uh, visual uh, inertial odometry, and it's from originally from robotics industry. We're just moving that to an iPhone. So combine that together, so, uh, we can have very cheap cost, um, a very low cost uh, mixture reality experience. So that's the 360 view of the HoloKit. And uh, this is some detail about how we do tracking. That's the guy just move with a normal iPhone. This is the tracking. And uh, we can have some comparison with the Tango. Um, we can do a side-by-side -side comparison. This is a Google Tango. This is the um, I normal iPhone running on our algorithm. It's called Wings Mobile. And, um, and uh, Tango have a, like a larger a FOV camera, also synchronized with the IMU. And uh, like for iPhone, it's a small uh, field of view camera with unsynchronized IMU. So they have a dedicated camera. and. Uh, you can see from like uh, this picture, we can see uh, after uh, the, uh, the above, it's the wings. Below is Tango. 
like uh, after we drift away, we have a loop, loop closure algorithm to detect, to like a snap back to the track. So this shot will show like uh, after this guy running, like uh, spinning around the, the office for several times, the uh, tango already drift away, but uh, we're still on the route and uh, do the cor self correction. So that's the comparison with uh, Tango. Um, to be honest, uh, Tango have a better like uh, uh, pre in uh, precision, but in terms of stability and also long-term tracking, we have better ability. So um, <laughs> um, maybe fortunately or unfortunately, like uh, Apple released AR Kit two days ago, and uh, we just do a dirty quick uh, comparison. We just download their. Um, uh, iOS 11 beta and do a test. So here is the side-by-side -side test. Um, above is uh, our algorithm. Below is the iOS like official demo. And uh, you can see uh, the tracking ability will have a more stabilized. See the, the box is always on the cross, but the iPhone one drifted away. So, um, but the, it doesn't conclude iPhone doesn't, uh, like AR kit is bad, uh, like it's because, because it's also still in beta, it's not uh, official yet, so we cannot conclude that. But um, this is a comparison. And uh, let's show some like a uh, spec. So HoloKit um, only have like $30 cost, and it is, it's a standalone device, also have a larger field of view, have a 95 degree of field of view. If you try this, you can, you can, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, <laughs> okay, it has inside out tracking. It also have a gesture uh, interaction and uh, have almost everything, $30. And also it's smallest one. And um, not only has that, we have a bunch of a very rich interaction. Because um, as you, you can see, um, because it's iPhone or it's, it's just a phone, it can connect it to, uh, connect it to any mobile, uh, like an uh, like external device, like a Bluetooth, wireless control, like any, any $10 control, you can do something magic like that, like shooting fireball. <laughs> and also, you can use another phone to control the Pokemon. That's me, to control the Pikachu, to fighting with the uh, the, the birds, okay, um, and also for in terms of the gesture detection, uh, we also can use iPhone itself, uh, the one camera solution for the gesture uh, detection. You can see, um, uh, you can see technology here. It's just using monocular uh, camera to do the gesture rec recognition with your iPhone, uh, which is from uh, it's a company called Mano uh, Mano Motion. So I just met them in the AWE. So you can completely finish everything you can do in HoloLens in an iPhone. <laughs> and uh, here's one of the author, uh, Feng Yuan, in playing a game with a beautiful girl in Grand Central. You can see how happy they are because <laughs> So yeah, it's because like a, uh, he holding a phone, another phone to control, um, basically the same like, with a controller with another phone. It's the same as like this connected. Everything is connected. So um, HoloKit is open source now today, and uh, it's our gift to the industry. Hopefully, it will help you to find the killer app for the mixed reality. So yeah, here's the. So this project is made by an uh, international team. So um, uh, I did the, like, uh, the ideation and the, the design for the whole project. And um, FY, Feng Yuan, have the um, initial like, uh, prototype with Ken. And uh, also he helped me a, a lot about, about the development. And also the, the main tracking algorithm is from the Hong Kong, U Hong Kong University of Science and Technology Aerial Robotics Group, uh, led by Professor Shao Jieshen. And they are doing a lot of uh, like uh, aerial robotics. And uh, this time we, um, we just migrate that algorithm into um, like a mobile device, so which is works pretty good. And, uh, and finally, I have a very special thanks for Professor Kempeling 
and uh, he is the the advisor for um, uh, advisor of FOI Feng Yuan, and uh, he did a, a lot of help for us, and also hosting this grand like event for us. And uh, thank you very much, everybody. Thank him. <laughs> And uh, finally, I have a question. Anybody's birthday is today? Anybody's birthday is this week? Uh, yeah, OK. Happy birthday. That's a giveaway. <laughs> and uh, finally, just like uh, give, uh, show you the, the device. It's just like that in the box. So just unbox. So the unbox session, that's the box. And we have the, yes, I will have the device. And um, just put here, there, and put your iPhone inside. And then you have mixed reality. And that's for final product. And this is for um, like a DIY kit. You can see it's just one piece. We did a very good industrial design. And you can laser cut it yourself. Yep, that's it.